Hi Year 13, today um, this is following on from a little video you should have watched on DNA and cisplatin. This is just a little bit of teaching, which I don't think he covered that well in the video, which is how would you actually draw a nucleotide. So drawing nucleotides and it's using your data sheet. And I'd like you to do a little bit of practice on this and I'll, I'll tell you what that is on the end. So you should know that a nucleotide is um, a phosphate joined to a sugar, joined to a base. And then um, a strand of DNA then has another nucleotide uh, bonded on here and another and another and another and another and then an, another column of them here. So DNA is known as a polynucleotide, many nucleotides. So in an exam, the examiner could ask you how would you draw, how, uh, they could ask you to draw a nucleotide. So in other words, not just a cartoon representation of it like this, but how use your data sheet to draw a nucleotide. So I've got the, the data sheet and you've got a copy of this, it's on your satchel one. Um, so I need to turn this phosphate, sugar and base into an actual drawing using my data sheet. Now this is just one of the skills that you have to use the data sheet for, but it's the one I want you to practice in today's lesson. So this is the sugar, this is the phosphate, and then these are the four bases, A, G, C, and T, which can be in this place. So there's the sugar, the phosphate. So you have to actually practice joining these together. You don't want it to be in the exam that's the first time you try and draw one. It's all very well that you know that phosphate and sugar in a base, but I want you to you know, realize that it's a bit trickier than just, you don't want to be doing it for the first time ever in the exam, basically. So um, next thing to notice, these NHs here, are where this bond is. Okay, this is the this is the nitrogen through which all of these bases will attach to the sugar, the deoxyribose. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the sugar first, and I'm going to draw this sugar. So that's a pentagon with an oxygen up there, like that. Uh, it goes H, H, so nothing there. This has got an OH on, so I'm just gonna draw that now as an OH, this one here. This one has got an H, and it's got a CH2OH. That's quite important that you realize it's got a CH2, and then an OH. This is just H's on this one, just H's. And then up here we have an OH and an H. So that's me just drawing this in a preparing to do the next bit. The phosphate is up here. I would draw it P, double bond O, OH, OH, and then O minus. And then over here, say for example, I wanted to do well, cytosine, so that's quite an easy one to draw, you see. So I would draw the N here, the NH, this NH, then a rectangle, sorry, not a rectangle, I know my shapes. Um, what's the word, a hexagon? Nitrogen in that position, double bond there, double bond there, and then NH2. So I've got all of my bits, but they're not joined together yet. So in each of these places, what's going to happen is you're going to get a little condensation reaction. H2O is going to be kicked out of here. So if H2O is going to be kicked out, that means this O is not going to be there at all anymore and this H isn't. So you're going to have a bond directly to this nitrogen. I'm going to draw this again neatly. I'm just showing you where it comes from. Over here, you've got um, an H2O that's going to be kicked off. So let's get rid of some of them. So there's basically going to be all of them are gone. You're going to go P, O, C. So that's how you need to draw it. You need to realize that this OH here disappears. So to draw this out again neatly, so once, you, once you've realized how, to, how it works, you go, right, so that's going straight to the end of the ring. And it always will. So this will always, even though it's got an O on here, this will always go to a nitrogen because I've shown you that the water gets kicked out. 
So NH2 bond O. And then over here we've got CH2, which mustn't be forgotten. O, P, CH2, O, P, double bond O, O, H, O minus. God, I'm making a bit of a mess of this. Let's get rid of all of that. And then down the bottom here, an O, H. So that, even though I've got a bit of mess up there, is what a nucleotide looks like. So again, now to do it from, not from memory, but it's to remember that in this corner there's always an N and a base attached. Down here there's an OH ready to attach to another phosphate. And here you've got a CH2, then an O, and then a P. A CH2, and then an O, and then a P with all the phosphate stuff on. And it's just practicing that. I mean, it's been a year since I've drawn them, but it's remembering how this works. Now, the next thing I'm going to look at is how does... Uh, so there's, I'm just going to, again, this is just going to represent base, whatever you needed to draw, whatever it asked you to draw. If you wanted to draw two of these together, phosphate, double bond O, O, another phosphate here would bond to a neighbouring nucleotide like that. Okay, in the same way by kicking out water. So everywhere that one of these bonds happens, where the base bonds to the, the sugar ring, water was kicked out. Where the phosphate bonds to the um, OH of the sugar ring, the water was kicked out. And when one nucleotide bonds to another, water was kicked out, so this is a condensation polymer. Lots of condensation goes on. So let's have a look at that sheet again. What are the important bits? I've circled these four NHs because the NHs that it bonds through because there's other ends that if you haven't practiced this you might try and bond it through there. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Well the little bits that come from this um, you can be asked to show how two bases can interact and I want to show you you've seen from the video that uh, you get um uh come on a and c c and g yeah <laughs> a bonds with c i have to think then didn't i a bonds with c and c bonds with g um and they can ask you to draw these bases interacting which i don't think i'm going to get you to do today but what i will show you is the way that they've drawn this um data sheet, if you learn how it's written. Right, A, sorry, C and G form three hydrogen bonds between each other. Now the way that these hydrogen bonds point, this nitrogen's got a lone pair, so it forms hydrogen bonds in this direction. This oxygen's got a lone pair, so it forms hydrogen bonds in this direction. And this NH2 looks like that, and this forms hydrogen bonds in that direction. The complementary base to that is oxygen, which has got a lone pair here, which forms hydrogen bonds in that direction, and NH here, which forms hydrogen bonds in this direction, and an NH2 here, which forms hydrogen bonds in that direction. All right, I'm gonna remind you of something now. A hydrogen bond is formed between an H, a delta positive H, which is bonded to, in, in the case of DNA, a nitrogen. And then on the other end of a hydrogen bond is a lone pair on an oxygen or a nitrogen, on an oxygen or a nitrogen, or a, or a fluorine, but not in the case of DNA. So look at this. This oxygen has got a lone pair. So its complementary atom will have a hydrogen, a complementary base will have a hydrogen bonded to an N. So the complementary base of this lone pair is this hydrogen. The complementary base of this hydrogen must have a lone pair on it. So the complementary one to this position is this lone pair, a hydrogen on this side with a lone pair on this side. This is a hydrogen, so this will 
pair up with a lone pair and lo and behold that's the lone pair it bonds with. So I want you to know that this, this and this are drawn in this direction. You can see the three bonds going out uh, let me answer that way, that, that way and that way. So if you are asked, you know that this complements this, this complements this, and this complements this. So they stick together and join. You always get lone pair on one, hydrogen on the other. Boop. Lone pair on one, hydrogen on the other. Lone pair on one, hydrogen on the other. Adenine and thymine um, form two hydrogen bonds. I used to remember it be, uh, biology A T two C G C three A T two G C three. A T two G C three. But anyway, this diagram shows you one, two, three, one, two, three. And this one similarly is arranged in a way that's helpful. You've got an N and an H. So it's this H is going to complement a base with a lone pair. And this N lone pair is going to complement a base with a hydrogen and an N. And it actually is these two over here. So again, they're pointing out in that direction and that direction. I can't do it with my fingers. <laughs> in that direction and that direction. So these two are pointing that away and those ones are pointing that away. And that's how this data sheet is drawn and it'll be drawn like this in your exam too. So this lone pair complements this NH. This NH complements this lone pair. These bases are perfectly designed to complement each other like hand and glove. And C and G are complemented to, hand, to go together hand and glove. So A and T on one D, uh, strand of the DNA will complement C and G on a neighbouring strand. Um, I need you to be able to realise that this is how the data sheet is drawn. We can practice drawing some of these combinations later on. But you're going to watch the video today with the guy going through it, then I need you to practice drawing the nucleotides. And I'd like you to draw, please, draw the complete nucleotide for A, when A is the base, adenine, because that's quite a complicated one. And then also just maybe draw one uh, for thymine, and then at least you've done two. Just check, just remember, just you know, just practice. Oh yeah, remembering the CH two, and remembering that the O disappears and it just bonds straight to the end. I hope that's all right. A bit of a lesson for you. Thirteen minutes of my time, a little bit of the video on the other time. I'm not setting you any exam questions, although. Um, you may, you may have some already that you wanted to chip away at. Also have a look at it in your textbook, please. Uh, so then you've had a look at DNA and cisplatin in both your textbook and, your, and, and this video. I think next lesson we'll do, um, I'll go through some exam questions with you. And then I think, I'm hoping that Dr. Patel will be back by the end of the week, but I, I don't know. All right, everyone. Uh, happy Monday. See you later.